Hey guys, it's Richie from Fred Junkies and we are back. Um, this is that weird gap between Christmas and New Year and I thought I'd put a lesson video out. Um, something quickly to travel the whole neck pretty much. Merging styles. I've been doing a lot of this recently. Um, it's going to be a bit of Max King, a bit of Dor Bramall. Uh, I'm sure there's some Stevie in there somewhere probably. I'm just going to merge them all. I've got a really cool lick and there's probably about four you can take from it. Um, so yeah, we're going to get stuck right into that. Quick update, um, there's a few pedal demos coming. Uh, the A1 Fuzz is hopefully getting closer to production. And um, if you didn't see the last video, I picked up this amp um, and I've fixed the tube rattle. Um, almost faultless now, so there was somebody asking on the last uh, video about that, so you'll see that, that'll be coming soon. I've got a real cool guitar inbound. Um, that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, a lot to go on with in the new year. Um, I just wanted to say Merry Christmas and, and a Happy New Year to you all and thanks for being with me this year. This year has been really good. I put a lot of effort into this channel this year and, uh, and it's nice to see it starting building up some momentum. And these lessons that keep coming out and keep coming free are just a way of me saying thank you to you. So uh, no more talking. We're going to get stuck into it. This is going to be in E standard and uh, let, let's get into the video. This is Richie from Fred Junkies. Please subscribe. Cheers. Okay, so this lick is going to be, um, it's going to be one long lick, but there's going to be many licks in that you can take from it. Okay, we're going to be in E, it's going to use E pentatonic, E major pentatonic, um, and there might be a few other bits that slip in along the way, uh, but we're going to get stuck straight into it, okay? Um, we're going to break it down as well. So we're going to begin by sliding two to four on the thick E string, and we're going to go two, two on the A and D. And then we're going to catch the five, then we're going to go on the, I mean, there's a little microtonal bender there, okay? And then we're going to go two to four on the G string. Now I covered this in the lesson not so long ago, okay? So it's that little slide back. Okay, so two to four, two, five, two, four, three, two. Five, two. Okay. And then on the A string, we're going to slide from five to seven to catch the thick E again. Or oh, sorry, the E. Signify the root, okay? So that could be one lick in itself, you know? You know, you can kind of bend, you could leave her at that. I mean, that's quite a cool looking itself, okay? Um, but that's the first part. You need to get that under your, under your, under your, you know, under your fingers first. And now here's the second part of the lick. We're going to go, and we're going to catch nine and nine on the G, D and G string. Catch the eleven on the G string and slide up to thirteen and catch the high E. Now, I can't give you the fingers and all that because I play it, everything almost different every time I play, so it's, this isn't strict. You're gonna have to find out what works for you, okay? But I, as always, I can give you the bare bones. <laughs> And then we're going to catch the 14, and it's going to be double stops here, okay? So we've got uh, 13, 12. We're going to keep that string spacing. We're going to go 14, 14, 16, 16. Mm -hmm. 
So 12, 12, 15, 14, bend to 15, release. 12, turn, okay? From the, from the te from the ten to the twelve, and then on the G string we are gonna hit the eleventh fret, bend up to the fourteen and catch the E. So we're essentially going. So catch the twelve on the E, and then we're gonna catch the twelve on the B, and we're gonna go twelve ten eight. So we've got. And then we're gonna go um, nine, nine on what would be the G and the D. Slide to seven, five, bend, and we're back at the root, okay? Okay, so that last bit was And then from there we're going to hammer on to the 7 and catch the 7 on the A string to hit the E as well. Okay, and then there's a couple of ways out of that. I kind of like that because it's going to sound like kind of Doyle almost. Okay, so we're going to slide from the 7 to the 9, catch the f uh, 5, hit the 7, Hit the seven on the thick E, five, three, and the end, okay? So we'll, we'll, I'll play it through again, okay, um, and try and break it down. The first part is something like this. Okay? And then the second part will go. Okay, that's a bit that's a little bit tricky, but um, once you get under your fingers, it really does fall quite easy. So, um, okay, so you can come out of it how you want. I mean, you can kind of take pick apart this however you want. Uh, I really enjoy the double stop bit, which would be the second bit. Sorry. Kind of hard to get the uh, bends on this. If any of you have played one of these, you'll know that the bridge really doesn't like to be bent. Um, quite difficult after playing a strat, but yeah, no excuses. <laughs> So there was quite a lot to take away from that. Um, I hope you can get something from it. And uh, yeah, there's there's definitely parts that I would use, you know, and I might not play all that together, but I definitely use a double stop. It's kind of Marcus King. The first part kind of almost Stevie, and there's a few little Doyle licks in there. So it's kind of like an amalgamation of all the stuff that I kind of like. Um, and it's a shitload easier to play on Strat. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. It's Richie from Fred Junkies, and uh, I will catch you in New Year. Cheers. Peace. Mm.